This is going to be a video on page one of your acids and bases notes. So, uh, not sure how much knowledge you have on acids and bases. You'll you'll get a lot of it as we go through here. But um, acids. There's several definitions of acids. Let's get this first part. Come back to it. There's several definitions of acids. They give them different things. But if you see these things, if it asks you to define an acid in terms of that, typically acids. Are hydrogen donors. They give an H plus ion. Okay, they have the ability to give away an H plus. Okay, bases have the ability to take an H plus. Okay, so acids can give an H plus, bases can take an H plus. So you're always thinking of things as can this thing give away an H plus? That means it has to have a hydrogen in it. And can this thing take an H plus? Well, something like this that is a negative charge has a pretty good ability to take an H plus, so it acts as a base. Okay, so again. Acids give an H plus, bases can take an H plus or accept one. Uh, so that's kind of how you want to think about things. Uh, this this top part here, okay. Acid base conjugate acid conjugate base, okay. So these are acid base reactions. So what you want to look at here is who's giving the hydrogen away, who's taking the hydrogen. Well, in this case, this is going from CHO3OH to CHO3 negative. So this hydrogen must be given away, okay? and it's giving it to that. That thing's going from NH. Two negative NH3. So this is acting as the acid, it's giving away a hydrogen. This is acting as the, as the base, it's accepting a hydrogen. So this is our acid, this is our base. Now, once this gives away a hydrogen, it now becomes a weak base itself. All right, so this is a weak acid. Once it gives away a hydrogen, it now becomes a weak base. So this is called the conjugate base of this acid. This thing, if you think about it now, bases have ability to gain H pluses. Well, it has the ability, because it has a negative charge, it has the ability to gain an H plus. All right. This thing takes hydrogen. This is the conjugate acid of this base. It's kind of a weird one. There's your first one. Um, second one here. This is giving a hydrogen to water. Okay, so this is the acid. This is the base. This is giving a hydrogen. This is taking hydrogen. This has an extra hydrogen it could give away and become water. By the way, this is called the hydronium ion. All right? So acids always produce hydronium ions in water. Okay? H pluses with water make hydronium ions. That's going to be really important as we go through here. Anyways, this gave away that. So this is the conjugate base of this acid. This is the conjugate acid of this base. Once it gains hydrogen, now that's conjugate acid from there. This is a base because it has the ability to gain hydrogen with a negative charge. As ability to get rid of hydrogen. Um, down here, think about what's made here. This is really just a double replacement. This should not have a negative charge. Get rid of that negative. That should not be there. Okay, that negative should not be there. Uh, if you think about here, HNO3 is a strong acid. NaOH is a strong base. Now, over here, we make water and we make NaNO3. All right, this is a soluble salt. An aqueous salt, and this is just water. Neither one of those are acid or bases. Okay. Here's the difference between these first two. This is a strong acid and a strong base. These are weak acids and weak bases. So whenever you have a strong acid, strong base, there is no conjugate acid and base made. If you react these, in the, if you react these in exactly the right molar solutions, you end up with a neutral solution, a neutral salt, which you'll figure out later what that why it's neutral, and water. <coughs> There's the first part. Acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base. Okay. Um, acid base association. First thing, let's think about a strong acid like HCl. You put HCl in water. Okay. It is not an acid until you put it in water. HCl is not an acid until you put it in water. I'm going to show you this two ways. Both ways are important. Put HCl in water. It's a one-sided arrow. It 100% dissociates into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. Okay. It's 100% dissociation. So it makes, if this is one molar, concentration of hydrogen ions is going to be one molar. So we can figure out pH based on that. If this is 0.5 molar, this is going to be 0.5 molar. So it's 100% dissociation. The other way that could be written is, I could write HCl plus H2O. And this is how AP will always do it. Hydrogen is given to that, makes H3O plus plus Cl negative. 
these two things are the same. Hydrogen ions and hydronium ions are the exact same thing. The AP people will almost always write it like this. So when you see this hydronium ion, it's the same thing as H plus ions. Because H plus with water makes H3O. H plus ions in water make H3O plus. So hydronium ions, H plus are the same thing. Um, obviously a strong base like uh, calcium hydroxide. So if it's a strong base, so family one and family two. If you have a family one or family two metal with hydroxide for right now, that's basically strong. Completely dissociate into hydrogen ion, excuse me, calcium ions, plus two moles hydroxide ions. Okay, so right now we'll say family one and family two hydroxides are strong. Okay, so those are strong. Uh, weak ones, the difference between a strong and weak acid and a strong and weak base is there's not 100% dissociation in a weak acid, which we'll talk about eventually, maybe not today. Um, amphoteric just means things that can act as either an acid or base. For example, water has the ability to give a hydrogen, which means it acts as an acid, has the ability to accept a hydrogen, which means it acts as a base. So water is called amphoteric, kind of like ambidextrous means you can do, you can throw with both hands. All right, auto-ionization of water. This maybe doesn't make a lot of sense, water plus water, but let's write it like this. Notice that's equilibrium. Okay, water is neutral. It somewhat dissociates, but it is a stream, extremely small amount of dissociation. So in a solution of water, you drink water, there's not many hydrogen ions, not many OH negative ions. Okay. The molarity of water, which I had you figure out once this year, is 55 molar. I mean, there's 55 moles of water per liter. Out of that 55 molar, this is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, and this is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th at 25 degrees Celsius. At higher temperatures, this is just a little bit different than that, or at different temperatures, a little bit different. But these two concentrations are that. That's a small, small, small amount of dissociation. It's like less than 1 10 millionth percent of the molecules dissociating. So out of the many, many, many molecules of water, you don't get many hydrogen ions, not many OH negatives, and they are equal for water. That's why water is neutral. When these two things are equal, um, the pH is 7. <clears throat> All right. Um, I will do, that's kind of the first part of these notes. I'm going to make another video over just pH, pOH, doing those things. Pretty, pretty short video.